Hi, I'm Dr. Helen from 3D4 Medical and this is another Anatomy Slice. I'm going to be going over how you could use Complete Anatomy as a resource for clinical examinations with focus on the regions of the abdomen and the terms used to describe them. Let's take a look at the abdomen in Complete Anatomy. The anterior abdominal wall can be mapped out into nine regions. This makes it easier to identify and describe the origin of abdominal pain, the location of an abdominal mass, surgical scars, and so on. The nine regions are the epigastric, umbilical, and hypogastric regions in the center, the right and left hypochondriac regions, the right and left lumbar or flank regions, the right and left iliac regions. The landmarks you should keep in mind are the midclavicular line, which starts from the center of the clavicle, the costal margin at the edge of the ribs, and the iliac crest on the hip bone. Abdominal pain in the epigastric region could originate from organs in that region, like the esophagus, stomach, and pancreas. The lower lobe of the right lung, liver, gallbladder, and right kidney lie in the right upper quadrant or right hypochondriac and right lumbar regions. A common cause of abdominal pain in the right lower quadrant is appendicitis. However, this would commonly initiate in the umbilical region. The spleen and left kidney lie in the left upper quadrant or left hypochondriac and left lumbar regions and the lower part of the large intestine lies in the left lower quadrant or left iliac region. You can learn more about the abdomen and other parts of the human body using complete anatomy. Thanks for watching.